So Sunko Academy is a coding and human-centered design academy. We teach children and adults how to create technology, but also soft skills, leadership, entrepreneurship, public speaking, pitching. And then after the training, we also connect them to job opportunities or opportunities to start their own business. How did you get into this? So it was a little bit from my own personal struggle. Um, first growing up um, in my childhood, being always limited and boxed as a young female growing up in an African country. I mean, when I first wanted to um, go into technology, I was told it's very difficult, you know, it's not really for girls. I remember at a point in time, I wanted to build a rocket because I watched the movie and a man was able to fly with a rocket. I was told girls don't build rockets and I'll end up in the kitchen. So I really hated being limited just based on my gender without even giving the opportunity to try and um, so really it was first taking myself out of that limit and secondly seeing the opportunities within digital and technology and thinking that once again we can't leave women and girls behind they should be able to take advantage of all the opportunities within the tech and digital space how does that make you feel i'm excited that there will be a domino effect um, that these women that we've worked with um, will go on and transform their lives, their community lives. So for me, it's also about leaving that legacy um, because I worked in corporates and I, was, I wasn't fulfilled in just the nine to five where like, the only person I was enriching was myself. I felt that you know, I could do more with my skills, with my talent. So I, I actually feel like I'm living my life's purpose you know, by the work that I'm doing. Um, and for me, it's very uplifting, so I, I go to bed happy. Yeah. You're still very young, and you're talking about a legacy <laughs> and fulfilling your uh, long life and dreams. It doesn't matter how old you are or how young you are, but it's really about that willingness to make a change or to make the world a little bit better than how you saw it. So for me, when I talk about legacy, it even goes past just what I want to leave, but the legacy of women before me. So there were many women that made sacrifices that allows me as a woman to live the way I live today. So I think it's important that we also do our part to allow the next generation of women and girls to live better than this generation. Why is it that, that uh, it's always very, very hard uh, to find women uh, in this uh, space? Uh, there are not enough women in the technology sector. And yet, there are incredibly smart women out there. Even when it comes to engineering, we don't see a lot of women. Computer science, we don't see a lot of women. Generally, once you come into the space, um, I mean, it is a very male-dominated space, so it can make it a bit of a challenge to sort of find your voice um, and step out. Um, you will find that there's not a lot of information that goes on about what goes on within the space. Young girls and women need to see more women in the space to also feel like this is a space they can aspire to. We don't see a lot of women in the STEM field. So for a young girl growing up, it's easy for her to think, yeah, I mean, all the people I know in STEM are men, so it's not really for me. What kind of advice would you give to young women who are looking up to you? In technology or science and engineering or technology and math is not who you are, it's what you do. So first, let's break that stereotype. You don't become geeky and you know, you're know you not like some um, nerdy type of person. There are different personalities within the tech space. The second thing is you can express your creativity within technology. Think of it as a tool that will help you reach whatever dream or aspiration that you have for yourself. So don't see it as, oh, this is a space that's going to limit me, or this is a space that I have to do so much. See it as a space that will enable whatever creativity you have, whatever ability you have, whatever skill you have. Adding digital or technology enhances it. So see it as really you're going in to learn a tool that makes you better. Talk to me about uh, the women who come here. What are their backgrounds? What are their aspirations? The women that we work with come from different walks of life. You have some that come from the informal sector. You have um, some that are like in, in school but are not getting very practical um, education when it comes to digital. You have some that are unemployed and are looking to upgrade their skills so that they can land um, a better job. You have some that are employed and are hoping to upgrade their skills so that they can get better jobs. Um, and then you have some mothers that are sort of in the transition of what do I do with my life now? How can I still be at home and then use my technology skills to make money? So we have quite a range of women. The most important thing is that the women come in here with the desire to have better lives and, and they want to understand what is this whole technology and digital space? How can I take advantage of that space? How can I better myself? Because they know it's not enough um, to kind of sit now and not understand what's going on in digital or technology.